Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how you can create and capture your own virtual reality imagery by using the Cardboard Camera app on your mobile device. So I have the app installed here on my Android phone. And let's go ahead and open Cardboard Camera. And now we'll capture. Now, what's important to note is that if you turn it sideways, or landscape mode, you're going to be prompted to turn it back into portrait mode. And so now I can capture everything that I see around me. And we're in my backyard and we're going to see imagery of my backyard. This is also capturing everything that I'm saying. So if you want to narrate, you can certainly do that. There's my daughter's pool. That's my neighbor. That's the remains of a foundation for an old barn. And we turn around this way. Now I'm on Paris Hill, Maine, and if it was clear day, you'd see the valley over there, but you can't because of the clouds. And let's keep going around. And you can see the rest of the imagery. And we'll see my neighbor's yard. My neighbor has 375 varieties of flowers in his backyard. Can't really tell from this view. All right, so now I've captured it. And if I tap on that blurry imagery, when it's done, it'll be clear. And I'll be able to share that imagery with you. All right, so my new imagery is now processed. Let's tap on that. And it doesn't look like a whole lot in this view because you need to put it inside your Google Cardboard Viewer or other virtual reality viewer. You tap on it. You'll see I'll be pr prompted now to install it into my Cardboard Viewer. But if I want to share that imagery, I can just look at the imagery there. And to the left, you'll notice a share button. And I can now share it in a variety of ways. Copy the link, email it out, tweet it if I want to. Here, let's go ahead and tweet it. And that link will allow you to view my imagery. So that's how you can create your own virtual reality views using the Cardboard Camera app. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.